Computer mapping. This is the latest tool in the opioid epidemic. Nassau County Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder unveiled OD Map, which first responders will access every time they identify a drug overdose. The mapping will, in real time, identify overdose hotspots. It'll allow us to then focus on the people that need to be arrested, the dealers, will get the sellers, and at the same time get a reduction in our crime in the area. Overlays will enable cops to map overdoses and car break-ins, which are often fueled by addiction. That, in turn, will help police target patrols, education and treatment, and alert the public if a spike in overdoses is coming from a contaminated batch of heroin or cocaine. Last month alone, Nassau County tracked 46 victims of opioid overdoses. We've buried too many of our young people, and uh, this is a scourge on our uh, communities. We're seeing people from affluent communities and not and not affluent communities dying every day. We have to constantly be innovative in our ideas to combat this problem. It's getting worse. Six years in recovery, worse. Tatiana Green is now an addiction counselor. She welcomes the innovation, but is skeptical. You can map out and see like where a bad bat of heroin is, but the overall problem of finding the dealers, there's always going to be another dealer. We wouldn't need a map if we were doing a great job when it came to prevention, access to treatment for those who are struggling, and support for people in recovery. So our hope is that one day we no longer need a map to look at the fatalities across Long Island. The real-time map is used by other police departments from Baltimore on north. It's free through a federal program. Police say it's not the answer, but it's another tool in a war we're not winning. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. 15 states and nearly 50 counties use OD Map, which was logged so far more than 3,400 overdoses since the program was recently rolled out.